So here we are, we've arrived. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Now today is gonna to be super exciting because we've got blue skies and we're here at Worcester Lodge for the MIJ downhill. Let's get changed, signed on and check it out. Oi, oi. All right, there we go. We've got our number board, number two today, which I'm uh, happy about. I hate having number one, to be honest. Put it on the old bike and uh, let's go practice. Look at this, the sun is out, which makes a change. So let's go to the top of the track and uh, give it a little bash. So the track they're using is called Elephant Man. I actually raced this last year and won, so the pressure's on. It's quite peddly to start off with and then it steepens up a little tight turns it's pretty much the same track as last time although they've made it slightly harder in places where you've got to actually go for the rock garden rather than jump into the side of it or whatever so let's go give it a bash so here we go then start things off we've got quite a steep roll in around you've got a little gap jump got on the inside of that pre-jump into that Oh, that is loose. Bit harder here. Oh, hey. oh, that is that is loose around there. And there we go. Wow, that is slick to start off with. First run is always the hardest. So they've taken away some of the higher lines, so you've got to almost stay on that main line. I think slightly further up, you've got to do a rock garden. So halfway down, there is a line choice where you can go over a jump, hit the landing, get a bit of acceleration on the landing, or stay high all the way, slight bit of off camber. I guarantee there's nothing in it. We're going to do the high line where the off camber is to avoid the jump this time and uh, see what's what. Right, let's give the uh, high line a quick bash then. Top half, super pedally. Yeah, look at this for a pedal. And that's why I think a downhill bike would not be the one for this track. Good job, the old jams here, looking pretty. We've done a couple of runs. Let's go back to the van, get a drink. And um, there's not really too much to report on this track. There's that high low line or low high line, depending on how you look at it really all right um other than that there's not too much else it's just a case of breaking early for some of the corners carrying the speed and hopefully it gets dry a bit of queuing for a bit of practice let's get it so we are at the start one thing to think about with this particular track is how steep the start ramp is before we get to the beam so we're just going to have a little play see what gear we need to start in ready for racing so this track is called elephant man Inside, jump that. Right, next gap. Let's do a couple more gaps. Another one there. It's quite hard to get on the inside up here. Off a drop. Right, there's two lines here where we can do the jump. Inside, outside. Right, we're 
Don't jump high there. Car speed round. Oh, this is going to be loose. And there we go. That'll do. All oh, good, mate. Yeah, you know, that was a full run. Because of the wind now, I'm loving it because it's actually drying a lot of these rocks out. This was one of the worst this morning. Well, this was super slick, but it's only going to get dry, which is cool. Yeah, oh, that was quick. Cool thing to think about with this, just making sure when we come down into this rock garden that we look out to the exit of that corner because as you can see, there's been a few people who have gone over the top. The way they've taped this off, you can see there was a high line for the last race. Now you're made to do this main rut, which basically means that you have to brake quite hard and try and carry as much flow out of this turn as you can. Obviously before, when you could jump up high, you carry loads of speed, so it is a bit more tricky to the race they ran last year. On my way back to the car, but we'll have a quick look at the track. You can see already how much drier it's getting. That was quite slick this morning. And then all of these corners are all about just carrying our speed out of, especially this right-hander down here, where you just want to carry as much speed as you can for the long straight. The problem we've got here, if you go slightly above, you're going to try and probably wash out. So we're going to stay in the bottom half of this berm, carry our flow, get on the pedals, and then we're into that high low line off the jump so off the jump we can stay low gap the jump get the landing nice and smooth or you can stay high all the way up to the top and then basically it gives you a better arc for the next section so either low pump land up or go high make sure you stand right up high above that next drop there it is high line right we've finished practice we're now going to check out see what time run number one is there's all the entries right towards the bottom 10 past two so we've got about 40 minutes of just chilling getting some food and then we've got run number one the time has come to go for race run number one let's get it <laughs> god tricky get it boy let's uh, go watch some other riders and go from there waiting game now wrong pedal Go on, Drew. Go on, lad. Nice. Right, there we go. Then we've watched a couple of riders out the start gate. Let's go up, ready for race run number one. So I use my GoPro in practice. Obviously, not allowed to use it for race run. So uh, hopefully, someone might be able to be kind enough to get some uh, video. But we'll wait and see. Right, there we go. We've done our run. We're leading our category and I think I'm a second back overall. So I've uh, got to find that little bit. So we're just going to have a little look down the track, see what we can find. The track is drying out nicely. Come on now. So I'm leading my category. I'm not leading overall. I think Ed Mosley is. Now Ed was a bit of an MBUK legend back in the day that I used to read about in the magazines and he's incredibly fit and the first part of this track is really physically demanding loads of pedaling and let's be honest I'm not a pedaler so uh, hopefully we can pull it out of the bag for run number two right that is where we can definitely make some time with the old pedaling <laughs> here we are then this is where I'll leave you guys I'm just going down to the marshal to leave my jacket and GoPro the track has most definitely got quicker so uh Fingers crossed we hold it together and uh, I'll see you on the flip side. We've done our racing, we've won the category, although let's be honest, there wasn't that many in Expert Elite or Pro-Am or whatever they call it. I'll be interested to see where I got overall. I definitely wasn't the fastest, annoyingly. I think I was only just down on seconds. But what I wanted to come and see was this was obviously the really far section. And my second run, I just fluffed it in this corner. Just enough where you just stall up because it's running so much faster. Grabbed a bit more brake coming into here. And then you know when you fluffed it slightly because you're trying to pedal to get back up to speed. And almost see, because I was the last man down, 
you can literally see my tire marks still where <laughs> well, I'm just coming up above there and then I have to grab a bit of brake to slow myself down and control it but here's one of them things back up to the top check out pods hey. well done the hard tailors uh, hard tailors <laughs> We're in with a 103.8, it's Ed Moseley. <coughs> Pro Am. Oh, we've got to hear about this now. I've got a podium in my film for Deeks. And the podium is something off f***ing in between us. <laughs> and our winner. Yeah, dude. We're going to bend again. Deeks versus Marv. Deeks versus Marv. Oh, well, I'm going to go. We've got Pro Am back in. So... Thanks, Greedy, the the <laughs> She's all locked and loaded. We managed to take the big win in Pro-Am, which let's be honest, wasn't hard because I was racing someone from home and away. And overall, I believe I was top five, but um, I'll keep you posted. We've had a super, super sick time. Toilets in the background, just noticed. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, be great if you give it a thumbs up. Be sick if you subscribe. Make sure you check out MIJ Downhill for their amazingly run, fun downhill series at Worcester Lodge near the Forest of Dean. Until next time, see you in a bit. Oi!